Hi Crafty Friends, thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I will be showing you how I made this mixed media photo frame in celebration of a big anniversary coming up. I've left it open so I can slide the photo in at a later date. There are lots of fun details to share, so let's get started. I began with the Windy Vecchi Art Parts Timely Pocket Watch. Each set has three parts. I set the middle section aside. I didn't need it for this project. I've already added gesso and let it dry. This will make a great foundation for my color which comes next. And for that I'm using some metallic wax from Prima. I'm going to apply the wax using a stipple brush and I will rub it onto the piece in a circular motion. Once I have completed the coloring I'm going to set it aside to air dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to buff it with a soft cloth taking off any residual wax. Okay, now I want to add a little texture to the stem of the watch right at the top. You know those little ribs where you wind it? And then I'm going to do that with corrugated paper cut out by hand and simply glue it across the top. When the glue is set, I'll color it with the wax. I want my watch to look a little tarnished, so for that I'm going to use some black acrylic paint and a dry brush. I've speeded up the film right here so you don't have to wait for paint to dry. To decorate my frame, I've used several items from Susan's garden collection. The first is the Hellenium, and I made three of those along with the leaves, a few ladder ferns, which I've cut down, and a baby's breath, which I've cut into small pieces, and you'll see why a little bit later. I've also used two hearts from the True Love die set and the butterfly aperture cut in half. I'm not a big fan of hot glue, but for this project it seemed perfect. I put the hot glue on the frame in two different places where I want my red helleniums. This way I'll get a fast, solid hold. I quickly placed the red ones where I wanted them, with a gap in the center for the yellow one. Adding more hot glue to the center, I added the yellow one. I like the way the flowers look when they seem to be a little bit crowded. So I kind of jammed that last one right in the center, having to hold back the leaves to fit it in. Okay, with that done, I'm going to start adding all the other elements. And sometimes it takes a little fussing to get that done. So forgive me for a few minutes. I'm going to place things where I think they're going to look best.
Okay, with that all in place, I'm going to set the whole thing aside and let the glue set up. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to set the wings on the bottom sec section of the pocket watch. For this and for the flowers, I've used the Kids' Choice glue. That gives me ample time to make adjustments as needed. I've used the largest circle from the Fitted Circles die set to cover up the bottom of the pocket watch. It just makes things a little neater. You don't have to do this, of course, because a photo will be placed in there at a later date. Because I wanted the blog photos to look more complete, I cut another circle from decorative paper. I'm just going to slide it in there for the photos. Later on, I will replace it with a photo and a piece of acetate to protect the photograph. I'm going to wait to place the heart on the outside of the frame after the photograph is in place. That way I'll have it positioned just perfect. Thanks once again for joining me. I hope you'll press that like button and subscribe. Till next time, bye bye.